So I'm talking about how to create the parent-child listing if we're trying to block off rooms of the house so that we can increase the um, availability of the listing on Airbnb, as well as try to attract a wider variety of audiences. So all you're going to do when you're doing this is just create listing. And I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through all that stuff, but you're just duplicate a listing that you already have. So like, let's say this is the the full home that we're advertising. Um, I would want to click on this and it will import all of the data, duplicate with photos, and it will duplicate all of the data and it will tell you, let's go navigate you through the step-by-step. -step. All right, so let's say we've done all those and we have the secondary listing built. So we'll go to listings. And in this case, I already have it built. That is, um, That is this one, an entire home in Hampton. And um, and from there, we you just finish up the listing as in, oh geez. Sorry. Go back. Computer is slow today. Sorry, I meant this one. And you will see what gaps there are in the, so actually this one does say in waiting. No, geez, okay. One more time. So you'll fill in the gaps in any of the listings, um, remove the proper photos of the bedrooms you'll be locking off, make sure all the wording talks about how many people it can host. So like now it's not gonna be able to host 14 people. It'll only be able to host up to eight is what we're advertising. So, um, so we're trying to attract that smaller audience. So like all of these need filled out and whatnot. You can copy these from the parent listing because um, most of the information is exactly the same. Again, just modify it to whatever building or whatever bedroom we're cutting off. The next step we need to do is sync the calendars. So if one person books the three bedroom stay, we have it blocked off for the four bedroom stay. So all you need to do is go to the pricing and availability tab. And you can go all the way down to the bottom where after it calendars it has link airbnb calendars so edit this and we're going to create a linked calendar and it says choose a listing that contains your other listings so in this case we would pick the large house so like for example um we could choose let's say this was the whole house then we would select this one and it, then it would be what what listings are underneath that. So we would make that selection. We've already done this with this um, boxwood property. So the beautifully refurbished home is the main listing. And this is the child listing, three bedroom with home with parking and fire pit. So you can see that relationship established there. Now, when somebody books, you will see it blocked off on both calendars. For example, we have Marissa booked three bedroom. It is now blocked on the whole boxwood um, home per, um, sorry, home booking. So no one can block there. The last thing we need to do is make sure in our property management software, we currently use hospitable, that it is also reflected in this stay. So we are looking, what I had to do in here is I went to my connected accounts and made sure all of my listings were updated from Airbnb so I resynced re it. And then what the next step I had to do was actually associate those calendars within the property management software as well so that it could reflect properly. So I had to come here into the parent listing and I added the sub listing of three bedroom home with parking and fire pit. So that is how we made that parent child relationship.